welcome back to another exciting session. Now we are going to focus on our e-portfolios. All right, so persons have been asking, how do I get back to my e-portfolio? I created it and I came off and I want to go back in it. Simple put. So we are here in our drive and I already told you to get to your drive, go to your account and click on the nine dots and the triangle looking icon here is your drive. Click onto it and you are all the way in your drive. Remember to focus not to go in the ministry's um, drive, but in the generated email. All right, so here we are now. And I found the site that I have created. It is right over here. What I am going to do next is to right click. Right click onto it. Then you go to open with Google Sites. Open with Google Sites. All right, so we are back on Google Sites. And today we want to really learn how to add things to the different pages or the sub pages on our page. So I'm basically going to show you how to add something to a page or your documents or your videos or your slides or anything you want to add. So first I'm going to look at the guiding principles, kind of outline them to you. Then we go ahead and tr try to populate the pages. Now guiding principle number one, it speaks about teacher knows the subjects that he or she teaches. So for that page, you could put on your lesson plans, your action plans, your assessment plans, and the list goes on. So based on the six guiding principles, you would have been knowledgeable about it and know what you could add to the pages. Guiding principle number two speaks about teacher knows how to teach the subject area. And teachers, when you are doing your online um, lessons now, please record so that you can upload the videos or the links to this page. I will give you the listing. T number three speaks about teacher. Teachers are committed to the children. And this page is all about the students, all about the students, their work. You know, if you have a Jamaica Day celebration, you can highlight their birthdays. And you will would know already because you know about the six guiding principles. Number four, teacher sharpens their professional skills. So you're attending the different developmental sessions, add them to it, certificates or anything that you can get, recordings and so forth. Number five, teacher interact with parents and community. So for that, you want to ensure that you have your PTA things to it, whatsoever you're doing for your parents and community, go ahead and get it done. Number six speaks about teacher conduct, the conduct of teachers to uplift the profession. So, or you conduct yourself to uplift, uplift your profession. And you know, you can put there your recommendations, your testimonials, um, things that you have been doing to uplift your, your profession. And I would post a listing in the chat afterwards. All right, so we're going to move straight into how we would populate the page. So let me go to guiding principle number one and let us go ahead and populate that page. Are we ready? Let's go. So first we are at guiding principle number one. And we want to know how to populate the page. All right, so we can do that easy 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 easily let's go now so here i am guiding principle number one so i'm going to go to insert so you can take things from your drive right here or if you want to go and copy the link of the document itself no problem so insert drive and you will wait for it to load let me find a document i want to put here all right so what if I wanted to put this document here? Click onto the document, insert, and it comes up over here. You can drag the circles at the side to make it larger. Nice. Another way is to go back to your drive. And now I am going to copy the link of the item I want to use. So click on the item or the document itself, right click, get link or share. So I get link. Then I make sure it is on anyone with link. Remember now, 
every single document or slides or whatsoever you have in your drive, ensure that you click on it. And it's not unrestricted. So go to get link or share. Make sure it is not unrestricted, but on anyone with link can view. So viewer, not commenter or editor, but viewer. And you can go ahead and copy the link. Copy link, then done. Go back to your site and you can go to insert. So go back to your drive. So we're going to go back all the way to our drive. Sorry. Go back to insert over here. Insert. So click on insert. Then we're going to go embed. Insert then embed. So let's go again to the right. Insert. Embed. And then you click on it paste the link right there. So I showed you two ways. So I showed you two ways that we can add to our site. We can go insert and then take it from the drive or we can go to our drive, copy the link and then go insert embedded and place the link there and it will come up. So that two ways. All right, so if you want to take something from images, you can do the same and you can use the layout, the layouts that they have done here to insert things too. So if I want to click on this plus sign, I click on it and take from a drive. Let me find a document. And I click onto the document itself and then insert. So it's right there. So you can use any one of the layouts and you can text over here because there's a text box here. All right, so we learned that. And I was saying, if you don't want the white background, you could click here. It looks like a paint canvas or a patel. So it says section background. So you could choose one, go to image, select image, and go ahead and choose a background you want there. Click on it, then click select. And you would be good to go with your background there. All right, so we, I'm just showing you exactly how to add things to your site. Once you add something, something to your site, all you have to do for the person, for instance, you send your link to your principal or anyone, and you add something to your site, for them to see what you have added, you have to go ahead and publish. So once you publish, you click the word publish, and they will see what the, the changes that you have made to your site. So you don't have to resend them any link. Once a link has been sent already, the system will update it. Remember, it's online, so everything will show online. All right, so I'm basically showing you how to add things to your site, to populate your site. And if you want to get a quote or something from Google, all you have to do is to go to Google. And I'm looking for a teacher's quote. Teacher quote or something. So a teacher quote or something. Let us find something. All right, so see, I say I like this. So if I like this, doc, this document here, all I have to do is to right click on it save image as so i'm going to save it on my desktop all right so showing you the so teacher quote, quote one all right once you save it there your next step is to go back to your drive so i always tell you it's a process and you keep doing the same thing over and over once you are in your drive click on the word new file file upload so new then file upload and then i save it on desktop let me look for it I see if it is, it is saved as teacher code. All right. Let me look for it. All right. Here it is, teacher code. So I type in search and find it. Open, and it takes you back here to your drive. All right. So once it is loaded, I'm going to look for it. It's teacher code. Tell me if you see it. All right. Let me go to recent. All right, so here it is. So I would right click. So this is a process. Everything you add to your drive, please share the setting. So right click, get link, and you see that it is restricted. Change that to anyone with link. Then I can go ahead and, and copy the link and click done and go back to my e portfolio. All right, once in your e portfolio, remember the process. Insert, because I copied the link. So insert, embed and we can embed it here all right then paste great if you don't want to do the link you just go to insert drive search for the item itself 
Here it is, click on it, then you click insert and it comes up over here. Easy like that, very easy. All right, so this is how you would add things to. And make sure when you're clicking onto the pages, you'll know which page you want to add. So if you're doing guiding principle number one, click on that. Guiding principle number two you want to add to, click on it. So you click on the pages to show to, for you to add the things to your page. You don't want to add what you want on number two to number one by mistake. So make sure you look for the pages. And thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to do another video to show you how to hyperlink. This video is about how to add things to your site. Thank you so much, everyone. Have yourself a blessed evening or a blessed day.